Come on, Lucian. I've gone through a lot of potions fighting this one in particular. Come on. Oh. No mercy for vampires. I'm very sorry. Okay, now. I'm not a fan of caves with vampires in. I'm not a fan of vampires. I am a fan that we're somehow managing to persevere. But on the other hand, not a fan that I'm running out of potions pretty damn quickly. Dwemer Inquiries, Volume 3. We need a copy of this for ourselves. Because Madras probably isn't willing to give up his for the museum. Adra and Daedra. What's coming? Right, there was a tunnel above us, wasn't there? But maybe another vampire or thrall went walking down. So I don't want to go deeper and further in. So we've checked all these out first. Right. This one's nice and clear. This must be where they all are spending the night. No triggers on this chest. Brilliant. Nothing of too much interest nor value, but you wouldn't know unless we checked. And if we didn't check, we'd be wondering about what was in that room that we didn't check. And that's why we check as much as we can. Come on. We must be getting pretty deep. I feel like we need a horse for you as well because surely there's safety in numbers for horses too. I mean, there was that other, that other horse out there. They're probably stuck together. We've probably killed the owner of the horse who's been turned into a thrall anyway. That's a spider, isn't it? And it sounds like creepy crawling. Off a creepy crawly. Hello? Yep, 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 yep. I think it spotted us. It will. Come on then, this way. Ow! Oh, it's poisoned me. Oi! Come on! Oh! Yeah, right between your many eyes. Ugh. Not a fan. Let's stay away from these giant sacks. Oof. Lucy, are you coming? Don't want to leave without you when there's spiders around. See, you say you rely on me for fighting and winning our fights. I rely on you completely when there's a spider. I do not want to do that on my own. Is that a dog? This isn't where the talking dog went, is it? Clavicus Vile isn't the Daedric god of vampires. That's, um, Molag Baal. He was the one who created the first vampires, right? It's just got to be a, like a loyal hound or something, right? Fate cards. Helmet of the dragon. Spirit of Nern. We'll take that one. One day I'll read these. City of Stone. Guide to Markarth. A self sword's guide to Markarth, no less. Come on. What was that? Nothing. Sounds like a waterfall to me. Could be anything, just running water. Who knows what's being washed down? You know, a bit of, bit of a branch, driftwood. 
Who's there? No one's there. Don't you mind? Don't you mind us? I mean, me? No, no one. Definitely not more than one person. Now, there's a stream. He does. Huh? No, I'm not ready to die today. I don't think he can get over to us, though, Lucian. I think he's stuck on the rocks. I think becoming a thrall must back, huh? not do very much for your senses. Yep. You freeze him. I'll, I'll get close and burn him. Just give up. Nah, I'm alright. Yep. Let's, let's not torture this poor man more than necessary. Oh, be at peace. Do we drag this? I'm going to say we drag this body out of the stream because God knows where this leads and God knows who's going to be drinking the water at the other end of it. All right, you stay there. I miss being warm. I miss being outside and warm. I miss a lot of things right now. Particularly when we're in a deep, dank cave. Hopefully that cave doesn't flood and wash that corpse into the water again. What's, what's going on up there? What's oh, a dog? Is there, is there somebody out there? Right, I think we've got to help this dog. It's attacking the vampires. Oh, I think oh. right. Stand on what one. Right, I'm gonna get this one. That's it. Okay. One more? Right, you go on the right, I'll go on the left. And stay down. Why? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we. You're the. That's Clavicus Vile. You're a talking dog. We did all that. We went out of our way. We went through a storm, nearly froze to death, been on this massive detour. We missed Alexi's key <laughs> and Helgen and a warm in to avoid this talking dog and go into his Daedric mask. And now look at us. We we walked through, we what willingly was went into I the didn't cave. Believe in vampires. Ignorance was bliss. I swear. I swear. Ignorance is indeed bliss. I wish we never learned of the existence of this talking mutt. Yes, you. Caves are exciting, don't you think? You never know what you'll find. Sometimes you'll even find a talking dog that you were trying to avoid, right? You know, no, we, we weren't avoiding. We were on our way. You wanted to lead us here to your master. We're in too deep. We can't turn back now. We're in those power because I we're right next to the shrine. Move over there. Perhaps just my imagination. I think we might have killed everything that we need to worry about, Lucian. Woof. So, Clavicus Vile, then. Why did he kick you out? You aren't actually just going to turn out to be a regular dog who doesn't speak after that little tirade. Well, I oh. guess you could say I got on his knives. I tend to be the voice of reason, and he finds that uh, irksome. He couldn't just kill me, you see. We're technically part of each other. But he was able to banish me from his domain. Of course, because of our separation, Vile is now much weaker. I guess he figured it was a small price to pay for not having to listen to me anymore. How were you technically part of him? You seem to be your own independent entity. Um... Well... Clav Clavicus, uh, how how do we want to go about this? Do do I just say hello? I'm sorry I brought you here, Lucian. Hello, uh, I I have a request of you regarding your dog. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. 
So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? I'm not sure killing them and sort of just ending their existence counts as a cure to their affliction. They died vampires. They're not cured. They're probably with Molag Baal now, suffering all sorts of torment. It's like if I had a cold and I wanted a cure for my cold and somebody took my head off. That's not curing the colds. That's still murdering me. Um, I, let's, let's just do as the talking dog asked. I, I'm, I'm just here to reunite you with, with your loyal, your loyal hound Barbus here. Ah, oh, that insufferable pup. Forget it. Request denied. No deal. I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine. In the back end of nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side. Maybe. But no promises. Right. I mean, my, my Lord Clavicus, I completely understand why. You don't want that talking dog near you. He gets on my nerves as well. It's getting on. It's really wearing my nerves thin. This whole situation. As what what would need to happen for you to accept this dog back to your side? There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have... Quite a bit of fun, indeed. <clears throat> yeah? If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached. No messy surprises. At least not for you. As oh. I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Rhyme Rock Burrow? S sorry, this axe. When you say this, your boon, what's your boon? I, I, I don't really need a, a boon or a blessing. I just I just want to leave here alive and not die when I go outside. I'm going to leave you your offerings of horse meat and such. I'm just going to just going to grab. Yeah, so Barb Barbus, uh, you supposedly know where we're going. So the rueful axe. What's the story behind this? Powerful axe. One of Clavicus's little jests, a wizard named Sebastian Lord had a daughter who worshipped her scene. Okay. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. Oh. Clavicus gave him an axe. I, I don't think Clavicus really gets the idea of ending curses or curing afflictions. So, you just gonna follow us for a bit now? I mean, you know Miko. Yeah, he's coming. Right, Master Vampire. Take what he had. I just can't believe that we we avoided that dog for so long. We thought we were so. Is that just a shortcut out? It looks like daylight. I can feel a breeze. We avoided that dog. We went out of our way to avoid that dog. Make sure we don't run into him on the road. And we meet him in the arse end of nowhere, in the most freezing mountains known to man. And now I've lost Bruce, sir. No, wait. There's Bruce, sir. Thank God. That's one blessing. Lucian, you coming down? Right. After all that... It, it was. It was the hunter's horse. I, I just want to go. I just want to leave. It's getting dark. I want to head down into Riften. I want to find a nice place to camp. And I want to pretend we don't have a talking dog in our company. Here we are, Riften. Is this... 
Right, mind your head. Oh, it is manned. Why are you manning this side of it and not the other side of it? So is it safer so you can close the gate? But if you're not on the other side of the gate, you're not going to know what's coming. Do you mind awfully if I get on top of here and get a good view of the surroundings? That wasn't a no. Then again, I'm not sure he's paying attention to anything we're doing or saying. There's a bit of a hole in your wall as well. I don't know if you've noticed. So, sir? Okay. Is this a guard post? Red guards their histories and their heroes. I mean, we could take this back to the gentleman in Dawnstar, could we? To his red guard wife and soon to be daughter? Or baby? Son? Well, hello. What's a butterfly in a jar? Do we take you for in a go, maybe? Or will that just be insensitive? I think Mr. Dragonfly is one of a kind, but you might be a good addition to I our... I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am making noise. I'm so sorry. I was a little worried for a moment you were turning into a vampire. I'm not going to lie. When you said you are vengeance, you are the knight. That was my... My main cause for alarm. I'm bringing this butterfly with us in a jar. Oh, glow dust as well. I'll take that. A couple of apples. Let's not take too much. Recluse alchemists. I have just been picking this person's home clean. RM. Coming to this area was a brilliant decision. The local flora seems to have many useful properties that I've been able to utilize into new potions. Outside, the rich soil has allowed the cuttings I've collected to grow into fine and bountiful plants. This afternoon, I think I will journey out for more mushrooms, as my current supply is beginning to dwindle. On a personal note, I have moved my alchemy work outside the shack. I find the mid-aid air is a boon to my health, as well as inspiration for my work. He's growing death bells. I don't really know what he's doing with those, unless he's making poisons. Hawk feathers. Hello, you're clearly not an alchemist. Really, it's a it's not a bad little place to have a little alchemist hut. It's next to a guard post, so you're well protected from bandits. You've got the deterrent. No, nice and quiet, mind your own business. No talking dogs probably coming this way unless they're following me. I didn't actually ask you where exactly that place was that we were supposed to be going. Daedra's best friend. That's Rhyme Rock Burrow. That's all the way near Solitude. Oh, we can't take our talking dog back to the gallery, can we? Out, no, it's, it's not our talking dog. He's, he's clever because Vile's talking. I don't want a talking dog. Am I in danger? That's a bet. Careful, Lucian. Come on. Oh, sorry, talking dog. Oh, I'm sure Clavix Vile won't mind. He doesn't seem to like him at all. Okay. I didn't mean to hurt you, Barbus. Don't know how powerful you are. If at all. You do supposedly have a portion of Clavicus Vile's power. You are technically Clavicus Vile as well, I suppose. An extension of him. I don't really know how it works. I'm not going to pretend I know how it works. Now, the lake. We may as well go camp near the lake. Iverstead. There's a... Somewhere called Iverstead over here. Is that a little hamlet? They might have an inn. If they've got an inn, that'll be somewhere we can spend the night. Yeah, surely there's... Ooh. Careful, there's another bear. Right. Crack. That's it. No. That's it. Okay. Oh. Hells. Okay. Right. Right, Bruce, you may as well follow us. There's no point mounting up just to ride across a bridge. South Wind Caller Pass. South 
south where caller pass. This doesn't look like a wind call or anything. Alright. Come on, Bruce. Right. You don't alarm the locals by opening your mouth. If I see you open your mouth, the things I the only things you should be saying is woof woof. Call it. Morning. Oh, e evening, evening. Definitely know what time of day it is. Bruce, uh, come on. It's a nice stable for you. You might make a friend. Yeah, see? Go on, make yourself at home. And we are going to make ourselves at home in here. Vialmir Inn. Not the most charming sounding place. Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything Villamir Inn. Just let me know. Yeah, Villamir sounds a lot more sensible than Vialmir. Here for work? Get an axe and oh. bring me all the wood you can chop. No, not here for work. Uh, here for a room. We don't get many visitors through here. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. High Hrothgar? What's that? If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. The barrow? Tell me about this barrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look. I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Do spirits haunt your town as well? How close is this barrow? Are we talking about the barrow out on the lake? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? Must be pretty close. I could... I could investigate that. I mean, surely it's just a couple of Draugr or something. We're no strangers to dealing with those. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. I... I will then. Shroud, Hearth Barrow near Iverstead. We'll get to that in the morning. I am skeptical that the barrows is haunted in the way that you're saying. However... Let's do it in the morning. I don't want to go into a presumably haunted barrow deep in the middle of the night. Has anyone been into the barrow to explore the depths? About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. Okay. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. Stun on a trap, perhaps? We'll rest up, as I say. We'll have a look at it in the morning. What can you tell me about this High Hrothgar, though? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. Greybeards? We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit. But almost all of them have returned disappointed. Who, who are the Greybeards? Monks up in a monastery? Do they not let people in? Or do they not find what they're looking for? I I'd like to rent a room in any case. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Lovely. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Which one? Which one's ours? Because if it's that one with one bed in it, we're going to need a larger room. We're going to need a twin room or something. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? No, I've not. Oh, they've got curved oh, swords. Perfect, it is a twin room. Curved swords. Right, thank you very much. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yes, I, I absolutely will. You can go. I Lucy, you wanna get out of the way of the door? That's ghost. Oh. It was over by the barrel. Why are we all coming into that the guest evil, room? Linley. I told you to keep away from there. I'm sorry. I was curious. I didn't believe the stories. I won't go over there ever again. But we're going to look into it in See the morning. That you don't. I promise to keep you safe, and I'm not going to break my word. Keep you safe? <clears throat> promise to keep you safe to, to who? To her? Lanil? I heard the gourmets hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, fella who wrote that cookbook? 
Yeah, no, just hold up a second. Star Sung, that's an unusual name. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true. What can you tell me about High Oscar? I've always fancied a journey up the 7,000 steps to the monastery. Anything to break the boredom of living in this town. I envy you. Yeah, what do you play, though? I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. I'm... I'm okay. Merely five gold? I'd easily pay twice that to hear you play. I Honestly, five gold does actually sound low. I don't want to sound like I'm trying to check you up or I'm being, you know, overly flattery. But five gold ain't a lot for a song. That's so sweet of you. I'll tell you what. I'll play a special song just for you, for no charge at all. Yeah? What sort of special song? Uh... Okay. Do you mind if I listen to it from bed? I'm gonna get into bed and listen. Good night, Lucian. Oh, what a lovely morning. Now, oh, Bruce, you could have gone under the, the shelter there. But where's this barrow? That seems a little too far away. That looks like the little island in the lake that we're here to visit. There's a little alchemist here. Ah, oh. Yeah, considering how... Oh, good morning, Joffrey. Just looking around, I guess. Considering how close this is to the town, I'm surprised they've not sent any guards in to investigate. If it's supposedly haunted. I think if... Guards had been in there. It would probably been made known to me immediately. Don't go in there. The guards went in and never came out alive. It's just some stranger. Treasure hunting. Which also suggests there's actually going to be treasure in here waiting for us. Like, careful, Barbus. A quick question. The Daedric Princes, they're more or less immortal, are they? If you're part of a Daedric Prince, does that mean you're immortal? Can you die? Do I have to worry about you getting hurt? When I... When I said the only words I want to hear out your mouth are woof woof, I didn't mean literally when I was asking you questions. I want you to reply with a bark. I swear this dog is going to be a lot more hassle than it's worth. Yes, you. Come on then, both of you. I mean, I suppose you can help us out in a fight. You did with those vamp- well, really, we helped you out in a fight against those vampires. Keep your voice down. If there is anything haunting the place, we don't want to announce ourselves that loudly. You know, a, a quiet hello now and then and... Nope. Supposedly haunted. Let's not take the coin purse out of the skeleton's hand. Leave this place. Do you think the ancient lords played Leave games? Leave you know, this between place. Leave again. Leave. 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 If you'd have seen what I'd seen, you probably wouldn't be wondering for the 90th time if the ancient Norths played games. Right, there might be something to it about this place being haunted. Plan looked like a dark elf. He, we had pointy ears. He was an elf of some kind. He had the typical sharp features. He didn't look like a Nord. Could that be the adventure from a few years ago that came through here? Are you going to stay put? I think you're pretty dried out. I think it's safe to assume you're going to stay put. Right. So... Yes, Barbus, there's a spirit. What we got? Before the Ages of Man. It's a book on an illusion. We'll take it. I should really be collecting more ruined books for Latoria. Imagine how many years of dust these ruins have gathered. If you piled it all up, I wonder how much it would weigh. 
you do ask a lot of the same questions over and over. Right, let's see what... Right, Barbus, you're going to have to be careful. That's going to fall on you if you, you don't watch your paws. Oh, I swear that just cut your head off, but you seem fine. Um, no, we want one that's going to open that one over there. I just want the one that's going to open the door. Ah. It's that one. Let's not find out what the other one does if one of them... One of them fires darts. Do you sense a presence? Why do I have a feeling that this chain is too easy to be... Okay. Yeah, that's why. I thought it was going to be too easy to be true, too good to be true. That the chain to open both these doors was right there. It's because of those spikes. Mr. Spirit? That's trapped. Let's try the other one first. Ooh. Ah! Okay. Careful, Lucy. Oh my word. Oh my, I'm burning. I'm burning to death. Oh, Bugger it. Lucian, just run away and let the dog handle it. Oh, I can't leave Lucian out there. How's it going? Buddy. Oh no, I'm gonna put. Oh.